let's jump over to the waiver wire and we'll get out of here. We've gone way, way, way too long already. Um, Typical. Let's, uh, well, it's week one. Um, okay. And yeah, we even skipped the, so out of ordinary. Yeah, we didn't even talk about the, we skipped the Vikings a bunch of games. Bu- Bucks game. Yeah, we well, skip, you got to tune skip, into Patreon skip on Skip the Wednesday. Raiders. We'll, we'll, skip, skip the Saints, Titans. So we're going to hit those on the Patreons on Wednesday. Also, answer any questions you have on the patron for the patrons. Uh, let's go hit some waiver wire talk. We didn't talk about Raiders Broncos either. We did not. Um, <laughs> Gainwell, um, Kelly, and Kyron probably at the top of the list for running back ads, right? Yeah. And where do you slot Justice Hill and the Gus bus in? I think I'm taking Gus over Hill. Or Melvin Gordon could come into play. I'm here not too. worried about Melvin Gordon. Could, he could. I mean, but he, I he guess he could. Been but demoted I'm, already. Uh, you know, so I would I would play him third, but you never know. He could. I guess they referenced him in terms of maybe not bringing in a free. I think that's what it was more than anything right. else. I you think gotta I'm gonna add Gus. You gotta add Gus, and if you can't get Gus, add Justin. I, I Justin. think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna see what just happens. like five years too early on Justice Hill. I think <laughs> yeah. it was maybe. Yeah. Whoops. I don't know. I think I might. I might just fuck around and get a little Justice Hill action. I think he's a little bit more dynamic than Gus is, and he's I think he's a better pass catcher as well, yeah. too. So they also had Keaton Mitchell from Eastern Carolina, who was is on IR, who they had got a little buzz, mm. uh, could come back so he could mix in, pass down, be kind of like a Justice Hill. Um, but I, so you'd take Justice over Gus? I, I think I'd go Gus over Justice. It's close. It's really close. I, I just think I'm just going to go with the, a little bit more explosive get one guy. of them yeah and yeah then i think the rest are kind of are kind of uh handcuffs i know kelly was a handcuff but kelly kelly had uh you know standalone yeah. value here yeah. week it's one and, like a, and bl- a handcuff and it's so. not like it's a blowout right. either they were, like they they were, were, right but right. there must have been an injury that must have happened what not at the end of the game with eckler that's why josh kelly mixed no. in so much no he mixed they just mixed in they lot. were crushing. It was a lot. They ran the shit out of the ball. They're going to be balanced. That's what they're going to do. Um, they you know, were unbalanced. They ran more than they right. passed. That's, that's never happens. Well, I mean, they were close to balance. They, they they kept the game close. They were winning. They could have won. Well, it's never um, unbalanced in the rushing department. Like um, so, the rushing side. You know, other than that, I think the running back pickups. Jalen Warren, sure, if he's out there, uh, probably worth an ad. You know, just in case. Uh, Sean Tucker, if he's out there. Yeah. Uh, White. We didn't talk about that game, but White not efficient. No. Uh, in his first just outing a, out there. And the two running backs I've been high on all offseason just came out and laid two stinkers. Who's that? White and Akers. Yeah. Week one, things happen. I mean, Chase stunk this week, you know. Uh, the whole Bengals Jamar offense Chase, was right. terrible. I'm just, you know, it ha- <laughs> week one's always weird. So don't, you know, yeah. don't get. Josh Dobbs had more passing yards than um, uh, Joe, Joe Burrow. Burrow. Yeah. Tyler Algier, uh, God forbid, uh, standalone value. Yeah. And uh, God forbid anything happens to be John. Fucking, fucking league winner. Probably out there in some leagues. I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and then Spears played a played all the third he, down. Yeah, basically. he played more than Henry did. I um, think. So Spears, I think, you know, these are these are other yeah. running back ads. If you have space that are a little bit more handcuffy. And then Jerome Ford, I thought, looked good um, as a, as a Chubb backup. And re mentioning Roshan. And well then, too. exactly. Yeah, Roshan would probably, you know. But uh, I think agree. I think a lot of those, the, the last couple of guys we mentioned, are guys that you can, maybe you have Dobbins, probably guys that you can only even have to put a bid in for. Just probably some guys you might be able to scoop up after the wait. Maybe period. Algier might get scooped. I think Algier, but I think a lot of people. If, probably not if, Ford or maybe not Spears, or maybe if you have Henry, you might take Spears or Chubb. If you have yeah. a spot, you might take Ford. But other than that, yeah, I, I would agree. Let's go wide receivers then. I'm not really going to talk about quarterbacks as far as waiver no, wire pickups. Can, no, I'm not. I'm not either. Um, and dynasty running back pickups. I just it's all those guys would apply, but it's it's pretty. If you're anywhere near a big bench, yeah, uh, you know, or more than or yeah, or more than ten teams, right? These guys, it's are, it's, it's pretty bleak it's, out there. It is very bleak um, out there. for for pickups, and that's the way I prefer to play dynasty. I would prefer not to have a waiver wire. That, yeah, like that I needs was like I went to go look Sunday morning about this about Jaleel McLaughlin, and I. He was owned everywhere already, right. yeah. and I'm just yeah. like Jesus. Right? Maybe Isaiah Spiller in FFPC if Eckler's hurt. Potentially, he's certainly out ad. there. He's certainly out there. Yeah. Um, maybe, probably, probably going to leave him off unless I got a lot of spots. Um, but he didn't look bad. But I think you need a, a for sure injury to to sure Eckler to want to do that. Um, wide receiver wise, Puka. Yeah. Number one. Mm-hmm. Put right? Puka and Tutu on there. Puka, I'd put Puka ahead of Tutu, but yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Zay Jones. 
We talked about yeah. it with Christian Kirk. Yeah, you ha- almost playing, have to. Playing all the two wide receiver sets for the most part. Had a nice touchdown. I don't know if it'll last, but a lot a lot of three wide receiver leagues out there mm-hmm. um, where he, he might be a guy that you'd stick on there. Bobby Woods, yep. um, mm-hmm. I think, is a nice add. Uh, Slayton played a ton of snaps. I know it didn't go well for the Giants, but he played a lot of snaps. He's super. That's a deeper league uh, kind of add there. But if Romeo Dubs is out there for any reason, uh, I think you got to add him. Yeah, you um, guys mentioned before we got on Jacoby as well too. Jacoby he's Myers. Guy. Obviously, yeah. he's got the. Obviously, he's, he's got he got his bell rung. So, mm-hmm. but he was having a huge game. Yeah, I mean redraft yeah. edition for sure. Oh, Lil Jordan Humphreys and uh who's the other guy for the Broncos who played over Mims a bunch? Uh, we didn't talk about that game, uh but maybe those guys could be dynasty just, ads if you if you right were trying here. to find uh, some dynasty ads. Uh, Brandon Mar- Johnson. Brandon Johnson. The Mario Douglas. Nice Douglas yeah. for sure. Yeah. And even, Kendrick even, Bourne that, is that's probably, a dynasty ad. Right. Douglas. Yeah. And Kendrick Bourne's probably available. Yeah, he's in he's available in some dynasties, I'm sure. Both of those guys, nice. I think good ads. I think even Boutte as well too. I sure, mean, he got he got four targets. By those late drafts, in, nobody wanted Boutte because there was kind of rumors of, of cutting maybe cut cutting and yada. Him, yeah. yeah, so he he could be out there in some leagues too. I thought Shahid. Uh, worth a spot Jeez. there. He, he was showing out a little bit. Yeah. We talked about um, him during the. I, I couldn't fit. Like, who the fuck is is the number he changed? Yeah, twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, going on. J- Jamal Williams. Obviously, he doesn't play running back, but they're going to greatly benefit from getting AK and uh, Miller back out there. Jamal Williams is the most okay running back in the league. Uh, didn't love that signing. He got a ton of hype because a lot of touchdowns. He's fine because he ran the but because he ran a ton of the balls in from the five yard right. line. Right, um, but. They needed help. I thought Shahid was, you know, a cog in the wheel for them, and I think his role could continue to uh, expand there. Uh, for for Shahid, uh, that would be an ad for me. Other than that, it's you know maybe some rookies if you're you know Reed or Mingo or Rice if they're out there and you want to add um, in your redraft in your redraft, or, yeah, leagues, redraft. Um, some dynasty ads. Uh, the Jets guys, uh, Brownlee. Brownlee and Gibson, who's yeah. act- Brownlee was inactive tonight. Gibson's active, not in the, nearly in the as fun game. right now without no, Rogers. No, yeah, but they're in not. this game here. Not, not that fun, but you know, Hope. good organization, and they made the team. And you're just yeah. looking for guys. That they got a lot of love really. on Hard Knocks too, especially yeah. in Dynasty. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. look good all, all off season. Uh, Calvin Austin. Yeah, nice little guy. Hey, Allen Robinson. Robinson, yeah, for sure. Allen Robinson. We mentioned him earlier, but this might be a pull-out separate show. So, yeah, we, you know, if, if we mentioned some of those and didn't get him, but Allen Robinson, yes, uh, agreed. Some tight end ads then. I think Chig, who didn't perform, yeah. but he, he ran a ton of routes. He was out there on, you know, almost uh, every chance he could be out there. He was out there unless it was a pure running down. Then they put in, I forget what the other tight end's name is. Uh, Wesco. Wesco, uh, who's a good blocker, um, but... Chig is out there and has the opportunities. So there's, Chig's about to get dropped, and then you can pick him up. There's an ad there. Laporta was good uh, for a rookie. Ertz, a uh, lot of run. My boy McBride, a mm. little, little bit of a bummer there, but Ertz comes out uh, yeah. and, and, and ran a lot of routes, looked all right, could have had a touchdown potentially. Musgrave could be out there in Musgraves, some redraft. Uh, Musgrave's. And then Logan There's Thomas in Dynasty could potentially be out there. Yep. Um, seven targets uh, has always been good when healthy. Just has had the last two or three years of just a cluster of terrible leg injuries. Um, Irv Smith, we mentioned him on the show. Um, Got to give love for my boy Jawan running the same, uh, same amount of routes as Olave as well, too. So Right. And then Hunter Henry for me, yeah. uh, just I think he's going to be a, a constant for that Patriots as long as he's healthy. We've seen him and Mac have a good connection. That offense all of a sudden looks competent again. Imagine that yeah. uh, with a with an actual OC out there. Uh, Mac looked calm. Mac looked collected. Uh, you know, kind of was struggling a little earlier with some wet balls. Balls going all over the place, and then comes back and and you know you get a, a more veteran receiver and Boutte dragging that foot, and that drive goes on, mm-hmm. and potentially you know you could get a dub. So. Um, Durham Smythe last night. Oh, yeah, Durham Smythe. Durham ish. Smythe in the uh, dynasty ads there because that could be a guy who's out there. He had he ran was on the field for every snap for the Dolphins. Could have had a touchdown. They had a little two drag overs with uh, him and I believe Craycraft and Craycraft was a deeper guy. They were both open. Smythe could have had one out there a ton. Um, seven targets, uh, most route run on the team. So. You know, just a nice little stash. Got for, that uh, Garrett Wilson catches. Also, uh, Kate Otten as well, too. Yeah, Kate Otten played a ton. 
you know, not much to speak of, but played all but two, played all but two snaps. And deeper, deeper dynasty. Trey Palmer has looked like he has made his way into the third guy. Uh, yeah. and caught a touchdown. Well, there's they don't have anyone else right, there. Right. I mean, um, but I mean, but that's not a knock on him. No. It's not a knock on him at all. It's it's the other guys. Yeah, he's looked good through the preseason. Yeah. Uh, so bigger ad there. So let's wrap this thing up. Let's get out of here. Uh, great, great first week. Uh, we'll catch you next time. We'll be here every Monday, 9.15. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, all that jazz, and, and, and keep coming, keep showing up. we got the $5 holler in the Discord. We're going to be talking more games over there, uh, maybe a little preview, answering questions, uh, you know, whatever you got over there, $5 holler. Come check us out. We're doing at least one, one a month uh, Thursday night hangs in the Discord, watching games together. You get access to the Discord. You get access uh, to some rankings. We're going to be updating those all season long um, as rookie and um, dynasty. And then as we talked about with the schedule, uh, we got a, we got a nice little planned out for the next four or five weeks. And then we'll be kind of repeating all that stuff a few times uh, in the off season. So we appreciate you. Good to have Matt here. No big D this week. Uh, I don't know if we'll catch him next week. I think we might have maybe Austin Abbott. Uh, in next week and, and, and maybe Matt back if if uh, if, uh, if he's here so uh, appreciate you guys and uh, we'll catch you on uh, on week two peace.